Good morning, good morning, good morning. Today is July 15th, 2017. I am Jeff, and I have my sidekick with me today, my little devil pup, Gracie. How's everybody doing today? This is Saturday Morning Motivation because we are up at Adam and we are working today. We have to go and educate um, soldiers, sailors, Marines today over the legal system. So how are you doing today? How are you spending your Saturday? Today's a great idea to spend your Saturday with your kids. Doesn't matter how you spend it with them. Go out there, spend your Saturday with your kids. Let them know you love them. Let them know you're proud of them. Hug them, kiss them. Make sure they know that they're loved. You know, and spend activities with them. A lot of people ask me, why do I take my daughter with me? And the reason why I take my daughter with me to do things is because I'm proud of my daughter and what I'm doing is for my daughter. So to me, I take pride in having her by my side whenever we do any kind of events, even if it's a Saturday or Sunday. So today you ask yourself, how are you improving your life? How are you making your life better? How are you making other people's lives around you better? Are you shaking hands? Are you saying please and thank you? Are you making sure just to basically give a positive attitude to everybody instead of being negative or down, do you look at the brighter side of things? Is your glass half full or half empty? Because you know what, in the end it doesn't really matter. They're both the exact same thing. In other words, if you want to have a good day, go out and have a good day. You know, just because situations happen, there's a reason for every situation and make a bad situation better. Because you don't know what's in store and you don't know what's around the next bin. It could be worse, but let me put it this way. If you couldn't get through it, you wouldn't go to it. So in other words, today, go out there today, make the best. Make sure that you let your kids know you love them. Make sure you let your partners know you love them and care about them. Give them a hug, you know, whether it's your wife or whether it's your husband, your girlfriend or boyfriend. Go out today or today and make their life better just by letting them know that they're important, that they matter. Every single day I have to wake up to some of my military brothers and sisters committing suicide because 20 of them die a day due to suicide because they don't think they matter. They don't think anybody cares about them. They don't think anybody loves them. They don't think, and a lot of us do it, they can't get jobs, their PTSD is really, really bad. They are fighting legal battles. You know, they've got drinking and drug problems because no one's addressing the main issue, which is them. And the thing about it is, it doesn't, PTSD is not just military related. How about all the police officers that go out there every single day that are getting their spit on, they're getting told off every single day, yet they have to be protecting us. How about those factory workers that are going into a factory every day to put food on the table, but they're not getting paid what they're worth because they're, they're working these long hours, hard conditions. They may get time and a half on overtime, but what they do is so much more important to our economy, to their families. We need to let these people know that we love them, we care about them. How about those nurses up there that are doing the doctor's job for them, cleaning out bedpans, clean, you know, being there for the sick, the, the needy, the elderly. Why can't we let them know that they matter? Sometimes it's not about money, even though they'd love it, don't get me wrong, they all love money. But sometimes it's just about letting them know that they're important, what they do matters. What they're doing is making a difference in somebody's life. How about those people out there cutting grass? I had somebody one time tell me, oh, well, they don't matter. You know what? They do matter. Every single person around you matters. Why? Because what they're doing is trying to put money on the table so they can put food on the table. You just got to let them know that they, that they matter and they care. And you need to know that you're important every single day. This isn't one of those, oh, lovey-dovey thing, religious thing. This is about what's fact. Fact is, you're important. Fact is, you matter. Fact is that you make a difference in life. And that's what's important. Be a great dad. Be a great mom. Be a great aunt. Be a great uncle. You know what? If you have disagreements with people, that's great. But you don't have to air them all over the place. You know what you can do? Say, you know what? I'm going to agree to disagree, but I just want you to know you matter anyway. I don't care what someone's political viewpoints are. If you're not in my face and you're sitting there telling me I gotta be a certain way, you're right. I'm gonna walk away from you because I don't care if you're left, right, conservative, in the middle. I don't care. I don't want to be preached to about political viewpoints. You know what I do want? I do want to go out and shoot pool. I do want to go play darts. I want to go play bags. I want to have a barbecue with you. I want to go out and spend time with friends and family without getting into the social negative complaints that are out there. 
Now, this is Saturday, but remember, every little bit that you do is striving to make yourself better. So if you're gonna work today, do the best you can. Go out there, make a list of jobs, if you don't have a job, of different things you'd like to do. Go out there and sit down with your wife or your husband, your partner, sit down with a friend, and make a list of all the different things that you can do, that you wanna do, that you wanna achieve. Do you have a list of goals that you wanna do for yourself? All these things matter, and it may, may look like I'm all over the place, but they all end up at one spot. You need to have a stepping off point from making yourself better to how you're gonna be outstanding. Now, people in my life, believe it or not, I have forgiven my enemies. I've asked my enemies to forgive me. You know, I have apologize and I've asked for forgiveness because guess what I'm not gonna hold that stuff on my shoulders and people think like ha 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 no what it is is it's the only way we can move on with our lives so make sure to forgive your friends forgive your enemies ask for forgiveness from your friends ask for forgiveness from your enemies because it's the only way you're gonna move on with your life it's the only way you're gonna teach your kids that there's something more to the world than having regret that having anger having problems with what's going on because it, the more you do today, the less you're gonna have to do tomorrow. And your kids are watching everything you do today. So if you're out there every day, busting your butt, out there every day working, that's what your kids are gonna grow up seeing. If you're out there every day treating women with respect, that's how the young men are gonna grow up. If you're out there treating women with respect, that's how the women are gonna grow up. And they're gonna want and demand people to treat them with respect as they get older, okay? Make sure you're helping your kids out with their schooling. This is summertime, but you know what? They should be writing, drawing, being creative, coming up with ideas, using their creativity. Get them away from the dang TVs. Get them away so that they can use their creative minds. Be a great parent today. Other things. When you're out there every day, know that you matter. Know that those inspirational books you read do make a difference. Know that the people that you hang around with and talk with are going to basically have a part of your life. So make sure to stay around good people. If your friends, you got friends that are negative and they're still bullies to you, you need to go find new friends or it's not worth having friends at all because all they're doing is they're dragging you down when you can be more today than who you were yesterday. Now, I know a lot of people say everything I'm saying makes no sense or what's he talking about? Well, this is what I'm talking about. You need somebody every day to let you know that you're important, but you need to let others know that they're important also. You need to push people to strive to be their best. You need to let people know, that's great, now go out and do better. That is outstanding, now I bet you can do better. Every day, you gotta take it up a notch. Every day, every day, keep going, keep pushing. I'm proud of every one of you for being my friend. For my friends from the past, I love in each and every one of you. For all my enemies, hey, you know what? You're not my enemy anymore. I'm asking forgiveness from you and I'm forgiving you for everything else. Go out there, say a prayer for your family and friends. Who cares if they're religious or not? Go out there and be a better you. My name is Jeffrey Jansen. I come from a little town called Quincy, Illinois, and every day I go out there and strive and push to do my best. I have been up and down in business. I have failed so many times that I'm the greatest success you'll ever see. Why am I a success? Because I don't let my past failures define who I am. You should never let your past failures define who you are because failure is only one step forward to true success. And success is when you bring people with you. Don't let failures define you. Let your failure create success later on in your life. I was in the Marine Corps. I love every part of that I was in the Marine Corps, but do you think every day I loved it in the Marine Corps? Heck no, I hated almost every single day. But every day I got better, every day I got stronger, every day I got faster, every day I got smarter, every day I went to classes, every day I went to college, every day I went and did my PFTs, every day I worked out, every day I ran. Every single day they teach us to strive to do better. When I got out, I was great in business. Some business I succeeded at, some business I failed. But then I took those failures and put them towards successes later on. I wish I could follow every single person that decided to go off on their own and fail. Why? Because I can learn more from people that fail than I can learn from people that have success because all these people that are entitled, grew up with a silver spoon in their mouth, they don't understand the struggle. People that fail constantly understand the struggle and eventually, as long as they don't give up, they will meet on top. Not only will they be on top, 
but they're gonna kick butt and take names. They learn from their past mistakes and that's what it's all about. Learning from your past to move forward to a better tomorrow. My name's Jeffrey Jansen. Every one of you understand this. Every single time you got a goal you gotta achieve, whether it's lifting weights, losing weight, going out and getting a job, push, push, push. Do you know how many of my friends went to college and never thought I was gonna end? And now they're on top of the world because they passed all their college courses. It may take them a little extra time. You know, my friends go out there and work out every single day to lift more weight, to push themselves harder. They lift weight, push themselves harder every single day. And you want to know something? Eventually, they break those barriers. How long did it take the Olympic athletes to break the long jump? Go look up the world record in long jump and look how many years it took to break the record in long jump. But eventually they did it because they weren't told what the record was. They just went out and they kept pushing. What's the weight limit? If you want to go out there and lose weight every day, you better start learning to walk a block before you run a mile. Because if you can't walk a block, you're never going to run a mile. And then you need to walk two blocks. Then you need to walk three blocks. If you're out there pushing weight, put on the weights. Start lifting. If you're out there doing cardio or muscle or whatever it is, keep pushing. Don't give up. The only person that can give up on you is you. And if you fail today, go out there and do better tomorrow. Why? Because the more and the harder you push yourself, the farther you're going to come. Who cares? If you basically say, oh, there's a record there, I'm never going to break it, then you're never going to set any standards for yourself. If you want to break a record, go out and do it. But keep pushing yourself every day. You're not going to break records by doing nothing. You're going to get nothing if you do nothing. You're going to get nothing if you do nothing. But every day you go out there and you strive to do your best and you keep pushing yourself harder and harder, eventually you're going to be proud of yourself. You're going to make your failures turn to successes and everybody around you is like, man, they kept failing but they kept going. They didn't do great at work today, but when everybody else gave up because, man, that's too hot, everything else, and they kept going, now send your manager. Now, exec, now you're an executive. Now you're an owner. Now you're a boss. Now you're out there trying to teach people how to do it because you know what you're teaching people? What not to do because you understood the failures of life that led to success. Your failures in life are teaching moments to lead people to success. Like I said, I would rather follow around, take notes off the pe people that fail than the people that have a golden spoon in their mouth and never knew failure. Failure happens to those successful people every day. Teach your kids, it's okay to fail. It's okay to trip and fall. It's okay if you can't do it today, but if you keep pushing yourself every day just a little bit more and a little bit more, I don't care if you gotta be an inchworm, an inch it just a little bit more, you will do great. Everything in life, you need to struggle, struggle, struggle. And in the end, it's well worth it. You pat yourself on the back and you're like, dang, I can't believe where I came from. The stuff you couldn't do yesterday and you're able to do today, now become your workout before you get to the competition. Why? Because those little things you couldn't do yesterday are now your workout. Now they're the everyday stuff you do every day and you're like, wow, I can't believe at one time I couldn't do this. If you got a disability, and you, come, you use that as an excuse, there's no excuse. I have friends that are missing arms, legs, that get out there every day and they push harder than the people that have them. If you use your weight as an excuse on why you can't do something, or I have a glandular effect, that's the reason why I'm heavy set. no. You know what it is? Quit drinking the soda, quit eating the fast food, go out there and start walking a couple blocks, and if you say, well, I got a heart condition, guess what? Get up with your doctor and start learning that that's an excuse. I would rather die knowing I went down trying than live and think I could have done more. Don't live off of regret. Go out there and strive to push harder. My name is Jeffrey Jansen. I'm proud of each and every one of you. Do the best you can and know that you matter and know every single day failure does equal success. But you gotta push yourself every day. You gotta set your bar a little bit higher each and every time. And in the end, it's all up to you, nobody else. The only person with excuses is you. So make those excuses a reason why to push forward, not a reason why to move backward. Live outside the box. My name is Jeffrey Jansen. Thank you, each and every one of you, for being who you are. Thank you for being great. And know this, you matter. Have a great day, everybody. God bless. I'll see you at the top, because that's where we're all heading.
everybody else, I'll let them give up because I can use them to get to the top. But if you want to get to the top, I'll help pull you.